This video demonstrates the procedure to remove or purge the air from the porous panels on the wing, wing strut, horizontal and vertical stabilizer leading edges. Please see 30-11-36 of the Model 208 Maintenance Manual for complete information about this procedure. This procedure applies to the cargo pod and the fairing TKS installation on the 208 and 208B airplanes. The panel purge procedure is only necessary after the replacement of a porous panel, if troubleshooting flow issues, or if you remove and install the fluid tank. The function of the panel purge procedure is to remove most of the air and make the membrane in the panel completely wet to ensure that there is no leakage from the panel and the connections to the tubing. Use only clean, filtered, and approved TKS fluids in the TKS system. Contamination will cause fluid blockage and or damage to the porous panels. It is important to immediately clean or contain all TKS fluid that is spilled. TKS fluid on the floor will cause a slip hazard. A fluid collector system can be fabricated to contain the TKS fluid and keep it off of the floor. Recommended materials for a fluid collection system include plastic sheets, tubing, aluminum tape, and rigid aluminum and or plastic gutter material. First, remove external power from the airplane. Then, disengage the circuit breakers on the left circuit breaker that follow. Primary anti-ice, windshield anti-ice, backup anti-ice. On airplanes that have the G1000 system installed, disengage the engine interface circuit breaker on the avionics circuit breaker panel. On airplanes that do not have the G1000 system installed, disengage the anti-ice gauge circuit breaker on the left circuit breaker panel. To gain access to the tubing for the vertical panel at the proportioning unit in the tail bracket assembly, remove tail cone access panel 320 alpha. Refer to Chapter 6 of the Maintenance Manual, Access Plates and Panels for further information. To gain access to the horizontal panel fittings, remove the access panels 373 Bravo Lima and 374 Bravo Romeo. To get access to the wing panel fittings, remove wing access panels 501 Bravo Bravo, 501 Echo Bravo, 503 Alpha Bravo, 503 Delta Bravo, and 503 Hotel Bravo left, or 601 Bravo Bravo, 601 Echo Bravo, 603 Alpha Bravo, 603 Delta Bravo, and 603 Hotel Bravo right as applicable. Note that if the airplane has a radome installed at the right wing, only the wing access panel 603 Bravo Bravo can be removed. Attach the fabricated fluid collector system below the area of the panel that will be purged. The following steps demonstrate a panel purge on the left outboard wing panel. Disconnect the fluid inlet tube from the panel fitting. Warning: Before the components of the TKS system are disconnected, slowly loosen the coupling that is connected to the component to be removed because it is possible that high pressure is still in the system. Connect the test cart fluid supply tube to one of the fluid inlet fittings on the aft of the panel. The outboard wing panel has two fluid inlet fittings. The test port that is not connected to the test cart must be plugged. Follow the operation and safety instructions that are supplied with the test cart. Use the panels installed on aircraft TKS panel test section of the TKS ice protection panel flow check procedure using TKS system test cart publication. Slowly start the fluid flow through the panel at 10 PSI. Correct any leaks as needed. Next, set the fluid pressure to 20 PSI. 
When the fluid starts to come through the panel pores along the entire length of the panel, set the pressure as appropriate for the panel. On the outboard wing panel, increase the pressure at the test cart outlet to 65 psi. Make sure that the fluid flows from the porous panels as follows. The fluid flows from the porous panels without any dry spots. The fluid flows evenly and not in streams. There are no areas with clusters of bubbles. Note that the bubbles will be very small and will continue to flow even after you wipe fluid across the area. Stop the supply. Wait until the fluid pressure is released and slowly disconnect the test cart fluid supply tube from the fluid inlet fitting. Remove the cap or plug from the tube end if applicable. As a best practice, wipe the panel down with an isopropyl wipe and repeat the purge process with connecting the cart to the port that was capped in the first test and cap the port that was connected to the cart in the first test. This will ensure that the panel is fully purged. Install the new seal in the couplings as shown in the figure. Caution: Do not use the seals again after a tube coupling is loosened or disconnected. Replace the 3 16 inch and 5 16 inch sealing ring or the half inch O-ring as applicable when a tube coupling is assembled. Examine the seal for damage and ensure that it is in the correct position in the coupling as shown in this figure. This will help to prevent fluid leakage from the coupling. Connect the panel supply tubes to the proportioning unit port. The procedure for each leading edge panel is similar to the procedure for the outboard panel as previously shown. The inboard wing panels have two ports and the opposite port must be capped during testing. The pressure in the inboard wing panel is taken to 60 psi during the test. The middle wing panel has a single port, so there is not a second port to cap. The panel is also taken to 60 psi during the panel purge. On the vertical stabilizer panel, the test cart must be connected to the tubing since you cannot gain access to the fittings. The vertical stabilizer panel has one port. This panel is purged to 65 psi. The horizontal stabilizer panels each have one port on the panel. These panels are purged to 65 psi as well. The wing strut has two independent sections within the panel. These sections are not interconnected, and each section has one port. The test cart must be connected to the tubing since the fittings are inaccessible. Label the strut tubing to make sure that it is connected to the correct fittings when the test is complete. Purge these sections independently to 75 psi. After all panels are purged and the panels have stopped seeping fluid, remove the fluid collector system from the airplane. If the porous panel operations test will be performed next, drain the collection system but do not remove it. Clean the airplane surfaces as necessary. Reinstall the wing access panels as applicable. Reinstall the tail cone access panel. Engage the circuit breakers on the left circuit breaker panel as follows. Primary anti-ice, windshield anti-ice, and backup anti-ice circuit breakers. On airplanes that have the G1000 system installed, engage the engine interface circuit breaker on the avionics circuit breaker panel. On airplanes that do not have the G1000 system installed, engage the anti-ice gauge circuit breaker on the left circuit breaker panel. 
I hope you found this video to be helpful. For further information, please call Textron Aviation Team Turboprop Technical Support at 316-517-5800.